Hey, it's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, hopefully there's not too much background noise. I had to switch from a personal mic to a shotgun mic. Anyway, here's what we got planned for today. Uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of this trash here and switch out to some forks. I've got a new, uh, two new attachments, front end attachments to show off today that came to me from a company in Iowa. Uh, and I'll be pulling those off my brand new dump trailer which I'll introduce you to briefly, but we'll do a separate video about that, uh, which I'm pretty excited because I spent a lot of time researching dump trailers and I uh, think I got a, a really nice one uh, with a lot of bells and whistles. I want to do a shout out to uh, a friend's channel that's going to help me with a project. I'll talk about that in a minute. But before we do that, in a recent Outdoors with the Morgans, uh, there's two different videos that I saw. One where Mike was talking about just being prepped and ready for who knows what's coming our way. And uh, like he said, and you know, we've probably done even less discussion around politics and things that are going on in the world, try to steer away from those, but uh, fully aware of them. This kind of came about as a result of some power outages that we've had recently due to the storms. And those storms blow through Ohio before they get to him in Pennsylvania. And I know he did a follow-up about his Honda generator. So I wanted to talk generators for just a minute. I'm not doing a review, I'm not doing a uh, comparison. But I've got this Troy built. We've had it for nine years since we've had this property. We bought it from the uh, original owners of the, of the house here. I don't know how long they had it before. Electric start, holds a lot of fuel. Uh, I've started it a couple different times over the years. Never really had to rely on it, but just uh, to run some fuel through it and um, test it out. And everything's been great. So like two weekends ago, we had these 40 to 60 mile an hour winds that were sustained and blew down some trees in the area and power was out for over 24 hours. My son and I got here, uh, wanted to plug in the freezers and refrigerators. And when we walked through the door, the whole place smelled like gasoline. Never had that happen before. Occasionally we'll get some fumes out of the garage, but it smelled like just pure gas. Came down to the garage, looked around, pulled all the gas tanks out that we have. Everything else was diesel, so it wasn't that. Couldn't find the, the source. Well, I went to go grab the uh, generator that we were going to hook things up with, and the gas had spilled out all around that. And no idea uh, what happened. The last time I ran it, I turned the fuel off. I don't see any sign of dry rot, so I'm going to have to figure it out. I might just have to put some more gas in it and find out where it's leaking out. But I'm just curious if anybody else has had that issue where your generator has lost all the fuel, um, with no obvious signs of, of an issue. I just found it really crazy that I had been there four days before and then we have a storm right when I need to rely on it. It's, it's got some sort of you know, catastrophic leak, I guess. So we'll, we'll figure that out. The good news is I had picked up this inverter uh, a year, year and a half ago when we did that culvert project at the other end of the property. We ran the, the mixer, the uh, cement mixer off this. And this thing fired right up and was ready to step in. So this is the Predator, uh, and we got that at Harbor Freight. I've got a contractor that does work for me. He swears by them. Uh, sounds and looks just like the Honda. Not knocking Honda at all. I'm sure it's fantastic. I know it's more expensive, but the Predator has been um, very reliable, and uh, it's just as quiet. Pretty cool. On to that other topic. Before we go get the uh, uh, attachments off of the trailer, is the 50 house project. I think you can see all of my birdhouses over here and I'll leave a link to that project if you haven't seen it before. But I decided as part of the conservation project to do 50 houses, duck houses, owl houses, bluebird houses, all kinds of things we can put across the property here. We, my son and I uh, applied to a contest with Wood Miser. This was all wood that we drug out of the woods with the tractors. We milled it with the mill and we built the houses. And the plan uh, was to have his Cub Scouts group and some of the local neighbor kids uh, help us do all of those. And with COVID, we never got to that. But we did get an honorable mention in the Wood Miser magazine, which I thought was super cool. You know, I had the magazine, knew we hadn't won. One day I was flipping through it and noticed our picture. So I had it sitting on the table for a while. Anyway, I haven't got all those put up yet because there's a cost involved with figuring out the right kind of poles. Some of these need to be 10 to 12 feet tall, eight to 12 feet tall for the kestrels and the owls at minimum. And I just haven't found a good cost-effective solution plus predator baffles. 
and um, I'll address the polls first because we've got a buddy, uh, a YouTube buddy. We haven't actually met him in person, but we love his channel, and he's got two channels. One is called Spud Run, and that's a backyard golf hole, which is a phenomenal hole that he's made numerous places to tee off from. All of my chimes are going crazy. This might be uh, too much noise, plus the, the frogs. He also has a channel called Cairn Creek, uh, where all his buddies and, and neighbors hang out and all of the cool stuff he's done with his wood miser sawmill and his property. Super cool channel and a lot of fun. And the golf, if you're into golf, the golf hole is phenomenal. But he has offered, and we've, he's offered to have us come down there a number of times, but I'm going to make a trip down to, to see Jeremy in person, tour his property. He's also got a bed and uh, uh, Airbnb that he renovated from nothing. I mean, this guy is is really good. If you like Mike Morgan, you'll like Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy's maybe a little bit more uh, comedic than Mike, but he's as resourceful and he's got a lot of the big tools and toys and equipment like uh, like Mike does. Fun guy. I'll leave his links in the uh, description. And uh, we're going to go tour his property, check out all the cool stuff he's done and introduce you to it so you can go watch his videos and see them if that's if you enjoy you know, what we do um, in that video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Karen Creek, Spud Run Golf, and the links are in the uh, description. And Jeremy, I'm looking forward to meeting you in person, buddy, and, uh, and uh, coming and checking out the place. I think, uh, I don't even know if I said what point there was is that he's going to donate some big holes to us that he took when his company tore down a detention center a big chain link fence around a like a prison or a detention center and he's got all those poles that he instead of taking them to scrap he held on to them and he said he'd be willing to uh, to donate some of those to the project so uh, thank you Jeremy looking forward to seeing you here in the future for the rest of you I'm gonna get this stuff dumped I'm not gonna put you through that uh, I'll get the forks and we'll check out those Iowa made USA made uh, front end loader attachments and talk a little bit about the projects that we have planned for. Stick around. We got them into uh, out of the trailer into the driveway here and a little precarious uh, even though this is only 450 pounds you add the weight of those uh, I think uh, probably two heavy forks that I got uh, for the, the, the Solace H24 uh, these are from CRI cold roll industrial and if you've been with our channel for any period of time I did have a stump bucket from them previously in the color of green with a uh, JDQA uh, attachment so I needed the skid steer quick attach so this is a 32 inch stump bucket we got some cool projects coming I'm gonna dig out some invasive uh, autumn olive with them I'm also going to cut down four invasive Bradford pears in my front yard here and dig out the stumps uh, those are now outlawed to buy sell uh, or grow distribute in Ohio I'll do a whole video on that topic you don't have to cut them down, but you might as well. Uh, with all the work we're doing on invasives, why would I keep invasive trees here? So uh, the other thing we have here is a 60-inch rock bucket, and uh, I think I'm going to use it to, to move firewood and move a 
bunch of rotten wood I have up here. I need to get it into the dump trailer and get it out of here further down the property. Um, and I think that's going to be what I use to, uh, to get some of that out of there. Just cut down some of the weight on that bucket. And uh, we'll probably do some sifting or grading with it as well. Um, looking forward to trying it out. The one thing I'll say about these products, uh, and the, uh, the owner has been super helpful the, over the years as I've talked to him. His name's Todd Maurer. He's in Iowa, and so these are made in the U.S., made in Iowa, extremely high quality welds. The paint is really nice. He told me, he's like, hey, I'm really sorry. These are going to show up a little dirty. We were in a, a storm on the way to drop them off, and they look great, Todd, by the way. So um, I appreciate your, your concern that they were going to not be all polished and shiny, and they're a little dusty, but they're going to get a lot dustier and dirtier. So um, really nice, high quality quality work so if you haven't checked out cold roll industrial uh, .com, uh, I'll leave a link in the description check them out they got some cool stuff snow pushers some graders uh, the stump buckets and the, and the rock buckets and some additional things that, that are really nice and high quality and the shipping is free if you have a Fastenal location nearby which is where I pick these up from Pretty happy with them, can't wait to put them to work. And that's gonna happen here in the next couple weeks when we get some time to uh, tackle some other projects. So uh, in terms of the trailer, you just got a brief view of that. That is a Lamar, L-A-M-A-R out of Texas. I'm gonna do a full video on that because I am uh, very impressed with everything that was on that, uh, that trailer. And through all of the comparisons I did, I couldn't find anything with that many features and functionality. The only thing about it is a 5 by 10 I wish I could have done a 6 by 12 but I didn't want to spend that kind of money, and I didn't want that kind of weight both behind my uh, Armada and when we get the 75 horsepower tractor, I want to be able to pull uh, a dump trailer with stuff in it. I want less weight on the, on the trailer and more in the uh, pay, payload, so we'll talk more. Anyway, uh, if you haven't hit that like and subscribe and you like this content and you made it this far and you're not already a subscriber, please do hit that. Thanks a lot for stopping by, for watching, and uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time.